So to start your table, click Insert, click the Table command, and if you want to have a table that is six rows wide and let's say four, uh, sorry, six columns and four rows, you, you mouse across until that is highlighted. And then when you click it, you get the table that appears. Okay, so if I hit my control end key, I should go to the end. I'm just gonna, going to put an enter. Another way is to click the insert tab, click the table, and click insert table. And this way you get a little dialog box and you can say, I want exactly six columns and I want four rows and you can fill them in and just say, okay. So we're going to convert this text to a table and if I put my show hide on, you can see that there are tab symbols underneath there. Okay, so you select it, you click the insert tab, you click the table command, and you click convert text to table. It makes the best assumptions that it can, which in this case they're all good, and I'll just click OK, and the table is made. Okay, so you do need to be in the table in order for this uh, to work, because you can see it doesn't work up on this table, but my insertion points in this table, and I want to have another name in between Nancy and Dave, and if you put your cursor right beside the dividing line, you'll see a plus sign, and if you click the plus sign, you will get a new row, and then you can uh, type another name. If you have the situation that you cannot set it up with an equal number of tabs, then if you use a comma and then select, click Insert Tab, click Table, Convert Text to the Table, it found the commas, it has the correct number of columns. So that will also work. Okay, so we added we added a row by clicking that little plus sign, but just so you know, it also works to add a column. So you can add a column or a row using that plus sign. I'm going to select this little icon at the top of the table that looks like the move command, and that selects the whole table. And if I press delete, you'd think the whole table doesn't dis would disappear, but it doesn't. Just the text disappears. But if you click the whole table and then go up into your table tools, and here in the rows and columns group is a delete, uh, delete cells, rows, delete table. That's the one I want. So to delete this row, make sure you put your insertion point into that row or into the column if you were deleting a column but I want to delete the Sue row and you can right click and go to the mini toolbar here to delete and you can delete the row. I'll undo that my insertion point is here and show you that I could come up to the layout tab and in the table tools and click the drop down arrow and delete the row there and I'll undo that and there's usually sometimes you can right click and click delete cells and delete entire row okay so that's three different ways just learn the way that you like when your cursor is at the very end cell of the table and you want another row, all you need to do is press the tab key and you will get another row. And I'm going to stick another name in here. So we can uh, click into the table anywhere, go into the table tools, click on the design tab, 
click on this more button that is in this table styles group and there are a whole number of styles here so I'm going to click this style here and you can see that it put banded rows on here and it nicely put this color and changed the font to white but I also have a few more controls that I can use in my design tab. For example, if I didn't like the banded rows, I could turn the banded rows off. If I wanted the first column to be very emphasized, I could click this and you can see that everything went bold. If I want my header row not to be emphasized and, and given special formatting, I can take this check off. And then it's not treated much differently. So you have a few different combinations that you can use uh, with your table styles. If you put on a total row, that is usually a row that's right at the bottom that you might want emphasized. And you can see that when I click that box, it gives me a little double line above that row and bolded the text. So I'll just turn it off so you can see the contrast. Just another one of these features.